Hi, this is Adis Boucher, the new money mama. Let me tell you about my first year in business. In the first year, I noticed that 100% of all the clients who came to me were women who were either separated, divorced, or widowed. And they were now coming to me because they were in charge of their finances for their family. Before, their spouse had been in charge of it. So on top of the grief that they were experiencing, they were now having to um, stress their way through figuring out the family accounts and how expenses were being run up to that point. Fast forward a few years and my clientele is now men and women and they come to me for a variety of reasons. Some are to start businesses, some are to understand how to better manage their expenses, some are, to, are coming to me to figure out how to create more money seemingly out of thin air. But the thing is, I'm still running into women who do not have a strong financial foundation and who are finding themselves in a place where they're realizing there's holes in their financial knowledge and their resources. In order to build a strong financial foundation, you need four things to first set up your financial profile. See, at first you've got to exist in the financial system that's in this country. Once you exist, then you can access the resources to build a strong foundation for yourself and for your family so you can withstand any financial or family earthquakes that happen. The first step is going to seem so obvious, but not everybody has this in place, and that is get your identification in order. Make sure that you have access to and copies of your driver's license, social security, um, adoption papers, immigration papers, anything that proves that you exist. You want to make sure you have those in order and accessible and backed up. The second step is to open up bank accounts in your name only. Even if you are happily married and your husband is healthy and you know that you're going to live and long lives happily and die at the same time, get those bank accounts in place. It's very simple for a woman, even if she is a stay-at-home mom and has no income, to go into a bank and open up a checking account and a savings account. Get those in place in just your name. The third thing you need in order to create your financial profile is credit lines in just your name. That means the easiest one right now is to go and get two credit cards in just your name. Even if you are already a co-user or authorized user on an account that your husband is the main name on, you want to get two credit cards in just your name in order to start building up your own credit history. The fourth step is to make sure that your name is on all the accounts that affect your family. So that would be accounts that have to do with insurances or mortgages, utilities, anything that affects your family, anything that you would suddenly have to have access to. See, we just assume because we are the spouse that we can access information that deals with our family. But I can tell you that I found out when I was looking to access information about our family insurance that I was not allowed to look at that information. The name, the insurance was under my husband's name and when I called, it was like doors closed. They would not let me in. It didn't matter if I was married to him three or four times. <laughs> it did not authorize me to take care of business. So make sure that you make a list of all the accounts that your family is impacted by and that your name is on there as an authorized user. So those are the four steps in order to create your financial profile. And once you get the profile in, then we can start accessing resources to build a strong financial foundation that will bless you and bless your family. Do not become a statistic. Be an empowered woman. You were sent on this planet to be strong. You were sent here as an individual unit. Did you know that? When you came out of the womb, you did not come out with your spouse. <laughs> you came here and were designed to thrive. So make sure you get that financial profile in place and then look forward to the future tips in getting your financial foundation strong. 
This is Adis Boucher, the new money mama, reminding you that life is rich and so are you.